Hey there, welcome to Michael on the Go, and I am your host, Michael Giannotti. Microsoft Teams and event planning. So, if you haven't used Microsoft Teams to plan an event, you are missing out, let me tell you. So, right now, I'm actually in the process of getting ready for uh, the month of March to be facilitating something called SharePoint Week for Healthcare and Life Sciences. And during that week, we're going to have a speaker a day uh, appearing via webcast. We're going to use Microsoft Teams live events to broadcast to the public. And we have speakers that we're going to be pulling in from Redmond Remote. I have the hosts or other uh, TSPs, technology specialists like myself, from around the United States. And then I'll be here in Pennsylvania technically facilitating the whole thing. We're going to do it all through Teams. But to get ready for that event, there's a lot of work that has to go on, right? We've got planning that has to take place. I need to put together tips for the various, for the speakers, for the hosts. I need to create a host script. I need to create some visuals and a little slide deck they can run through for uh, attendees so that they can see how to leverage and uh, interact through the Q&A panel. There's a bunch of stuff to put together. Also, I need to communicate with my hosts and with my presenters as we lead up to the event. And we don't want to do that through email. I mean, email, come on, that's like yesterday's news. So what we're doing is I've set up a Microsoft team. I've set up in that team a couple of key areas. And I'm going to share that with you a little bit later because I'm actually using it as a template moving forward for other virtual events we're going to be running. But uh, the things that I have there, obviously we have the conversations, and yes, we have the files repository. In the files repository, I already have things like uh, I'm creating a field uh, packet for a field sales force where they can socialize the event. So I have things like social script, you know, go to actions, how to share this out on LinkedIn Elevate and other areas I, with collateral around that. I have email invite templates post event, thank you for attending, and can I help you templates. A whole range of documents in the files repository. As a part of leading up to it, we've also created and set up a OneNote. It's the event OneNote. So in that OneNote, we're doing things like tips and tricks, and uh, as we go, taking notes from meetings, etc. putting that in there. I've also grabbed the stream uh, tab and dropped that in. Why? Because, well, we're leveraging Microsoft Stream so that I can have some tips and tricks, some how-to videos, right? How to get stuff done. So for example, for the host, how to introduce the guest presenter. For guest presenters, some tips and tricks and things to maximize their uh, presentation and to make it you know, more impactful. But all of it meant to lower the overhead on these folks so that you know they just kinda, when it's time to deliver, they just show up and go, right? Make it easier for them. Um, we also have planner set up, right? With some uh, basic things that we need to get done to align those to timelines and uh, when those have to be delivered and to make sure we deliver them timely and assign them to people. All that stuff. When we're all done with it, we'll have all that collateral I can take and I can either keep the team or I can archive it off to a SharePoint um, library or to our, we have a team for healthcare and life sciences. I could put it all, package it up and then dump it all the uh, collateral there. But better yet, it now serves as a template to future events. So we can just replicate this, a replicable process, right? And it's a great way to do things that allows you, you know, heck, I'm, I'm, my iPhone's uh, doing this right now, but we've got teams on the iPhone. So I need to communicate and there's some things we need to do and, and get with people and make sure things are happening. I can do it remotely right off my mobile. You know, I have all that full fidelity right there on my mobile client on iOS and Android. We've got it on the PC, it's on the Mac. We can leverage the same things through the web. And then finally, for the event itself, we use Teams live events. We've already gotten the event set up uh, to actually deliver the session. So Teams end-to-end -end for delivering an event. Think about this, if you're doing a, a physical event, not a virtual one, you could still use Teams to manage all the planning around that. And 
why not, if it's an internal event and it's a physical one, why not simultaneously live stream that event using Teams live events? And then capture that, right, for reuse later. A lot of great stuff you can do, but just some food for thought. If you're not using Teams uh, to deliver events, start thinking about it, start taking a look. Like I said, I'm gonna do a walkthrough of my actual team as a separate video, as a follow-up post, so look for that. But until then, if you have questions about anything around Microsoft's Modern Workplace Suite, if you want tips and tricks, how-tos, etc., you can always find me uh, and all my colleagues at the Healthcare and Life Sciences blog. If you go over to techcommunities.microsoft.com and the blog's there, we're there, we are live, part of the community. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on LinkedIn, you can find me on Facebook, and everywhere that social goes. <laughs> With that, this is Michael on the go, bidding you have a great day as I'm heading home after some shopping out here in the country. Bidding you have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao.